Hi right, folks, we're back in the log cabin now. We've got the bumper off of the ST220. You know I had a dent in it and it also got repaired by Jimmy. He's done that work. I've just got to go over it now with a Scotch Bright pad. Let's take a closer look at the repair. Right, so right on this corner here, this was actually pushed in and it Jimmy actually popped it out. So um, as you can see now, this is lovely and sanded down now to 500 grit using uh, a DA I think he done this with. And what he's going to do, he's going to spot repair just this area. In other words, just get the colour in, just basically around that area there. And the rest of it is going to, he's going to lacquer the whole uh, bumper for me. So all this has been lightly Scotch Bright padded down. He'd done this with a DA. But to finish it off correctly, you can see the shiny bits there. That's no good. I'm going to go over all these bits that need um, fine sanding with a Scotch Sprite pad and even down all in these little creases here. Jimmy's taking the internal grills out there, them things over there, let me show you. And I did notice that these weren't as black as what they could be, so I'm going to give them a good clean down first as well. And we're going to be spraying them with this Pro XL textured coating spoiler repair for all plastic, black plastic parts. Jimmy says this goes on really nice, so. And just looking at the back of the bumper there, Nice to see that this is an old original bumper and it's not had any previous repairs on it. And you wouldn't actually know, to be honest with you, that it's been pushed in there at the back there. So I'm real, real happy with that. So before Jimmy comes home from work, I'm going to get the Scotch Bright pad. Scotch Bright. I'm going to get the Scotch Bright pad out. Scotch Bright? It is Scotch Bright, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to get a Scotch Bright pad out. I've got them over here. There we go. This is a grey Scotch Bright pad. And all I'm going to do literally is just go over this. I'll show you what it does. So basically that's the shiny piece and we're just going to scuff up the surface of the original lacquer there. And I'll show you what we're looking for. You ain't got to go mad with it, only light, very light pressure. And all we're literally looking for is to take the glaze away of the old lacquer. And if you can see that there now, that now is ready to accept our new lacquer. All them little scratches, you ain't gonna see them under the new lacquer, so don't worry about that. But this will probably be colored in anyway, because you'll probably fade the color in up to about there. But uh, I'm just gonna go over now, folks, do all this rubbing down, get rid of all these shiny bits there, and then I'll uh, come back to you. Right, okay, so here we go then. I'm just sanding it down very lightly with this uh, gray Scotch Bright, uh, Scotch -Bright pad. They're probably about 600 grit if you uh, wanted to know roughly what they sand down to. The red ones are a bit more coarser. And just making sure we get into all the little creases because uh, that's normally where lacquer starts to fail when you over lacquer something else. So looking at that, you'd think it would be pretty dodgy, wouldn't you? Right, so we've had to put the camera up the top there now. I'm just wiping this down now with a wax and grease remover just to take all the oil and dust off of the uh, the surface. Jimmy's coming in and just wiping it down now with a tack rag. And all Jimmy's doing here is applying the first coat. That's one light coat there. So just letting it flash off now, folks, as you can see. First coat is literally just a light dust on coat there. So uh, you're building up two or three coats. Two. Two coats on that, put it under the lamp, and then uh, obviously finish off then with the lacquer. And the lacquer's going to do the whole bumper. Yeah. There you go. And as you can see, folks, on the second coat, it's covered a lot better now. And he's also blended the colour a little bit further out now. So he ain't got to paint the whole bumper. The colour's just literally just about there. And as you can see, when you just scratch that um, original lacquer up, you think to yourself, oh my God, that's never going to come back to shiny. But once you hit that with the gloss lacquer, that will come back and shine fantastically. So hey, I can just see where the colours come out to now about there, look. Looks like a nice colour match and all. 
yeah, very nice. Third and final coat, folks. And there you go. You just put um, the heat lamp back on that. And after that's tacked off, it's ready for lacquering. Oh, sorry, he's got to do a drop coat first because it's a metallic. And a drop coat is a lighter coat just to dust over so that the metallics lay down correctly. And you do that from a bit further back as well. All right, back in folks. Final coat, which is going to be the drop coat. We are spraying with a HVLP gun, and as you can see, just a little light covering now, and he's taken it out a little bit further, and that's what you call a drop coat. It's just a little bit further. He's not putting much pressure on the gun, so he's not whacking it on them. Just lets the metallics lay down correctly. And that's it, isn't it? Uh -huh. For the There you go, so we'll let that go off now, folks, under the light, and we'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, folks, it's the next day now. We didn't get to film any of the lacquer going on for the simple reason being, I do have two respirators, but one of them's broken, so I've ordered another one, so I couldn't actually be in here and film while Jimmy was doing the lacquering. I'll show you that in a second, but one thing we did uh, get to do was to paint the, the black trim there with that paint. Can you see the finish on that? I don't think you can get it in the light. All them have come out really nice there. We've painted all them up, or Jimmy's painted all them up with that paint I showed you. But the one I was a little bit concerned about because it had a bit of a scuff mark on it, and as you can see there, this is the other one behind the front driver's door on the, on the driver's side. So that little scuff mark on there, I can't really do anything with that. We did paint it, but um, what we're gonna do, we go down to Breaker's Yard, see if we can find any down there. If not, then I'll have to order a second hand one off of eBay. I'm sure there's plenty out there. But before we do that, I'll just turn the camera around you can see the lacquered bumpers and see the way the color matches so here it is folks let's just come around here it's looking very nice don't forget this is the original color this is the repair where the repair was I don't know if you can see around here we'll have to wait till we get outside for the light but can you see this is where the uh, the work was done there and although you can't really tell in this light the color blend is actually very very good you can't see it there there is a few little dust nibs in it, which you may just be able to see there, which you expect in a shed. This is in a, a spray environment, but all you've got to do, when we put this back on the car, anywhere where there's a little nib of dust in, like there, for example, you just give that a sand with some, um, like, 1500 paper, and then you buff that with some G3 compound on a buffing wheel, and that takes all that out. So there is a few little nibs in it, but... Um, can you remember how scratched up all this was when I was sanding it earlier on in the video and thinking, oh my God, if you've done that to your own bumper, it would never come back. That's putting the lacquer directly on top, folks. And can you see the shine you got there? Look, fantastic there. Now, we normally could have done a spot repair where you just blend the lacquer there and then you use a, a, a lacquer thinner just to blend it in. But rather than do that, Jimmy just painted the whole lacquer, uh, lacquered the whole bumper uh, just to give it that new fresh look again. So when we get the grills back in there, there you go, they're going to look really nice there, aren't they? So that's all got to go back on. So yeah, there you go. There was a few, like as I say, little blemishes in the bumper, which I had from before. Coming around there, as I say, this is just, uh, we all we done was scuff all this, if you remember rightly. So any original little marks that was in the bumper, we just left there. We weren't really too bothered about them, to be honest with you. So there you go, folks. That was the damaged corner. Now all in one color again. And when we get that on the car, it's going to look great. And a few of you also said that when I took that off and the end pipes coming out for the exhaust, oh, you've got to polish them up and clean them up. Yeah, I, I have planned to do that anyway, folks. So I'll take some very fine wire wool to them because they are stainless steel. They shouldn't scratch at all. Some very fine wire wool, clean all them up and even all that under 
bumper area I'll clean out as well and give it a good clean out. So let's get down to Breakers Yard and see if we can find one of them grill covers. Right folks, we've just come down to the Breakers Yard because uh, I've got one piece of trim on that bumper behind the, like the driver's side that's a bit scuffed up and after we painted it, it just stands out. So we thought we'd just come down here. I've got Soppy with me, look. Doing all the work again, look, tools. Unbelievable. So uh, we're gonna have a look at it. He said there's about five, what is it, between five and 10 you said, wasn't it, Mondo's down here? Yeah. So let's have a look, yeah. see if we can find one with a bit of trim on so we can uh, purchase that. Should be a lot of money, so um, let's have a little look. So this is our local scrapyard, folks. One of the old school ones still. Apparently all the new ones now, Gary, are all piled up in order and you can't walk around them anymore. So uh, this is nice to have one of these old type ones. Yeah, look at this little baby, look. Yeah, it is a Mark II and all. Look at that. Thought we'd have a little look around the old breakers yard as well, folks. Look. Don't see many of them now. In fact, the panels are in quite good nick on that, look, around the arches. Yeah, the only thing you've got to do, folks, is wear the old uh, Day Glow jackets lot, what we got on. And they're all sort of segregated into their right areas, like Fords, Vauxhalls, all that lot. So Gary was here the other day. What was you getting the other day? A trim, wasn't it, in the boot? Oh, the boot trim, that's right, yeah. So we're looking at full focuses here at the moment, so we're in the right area. Oh, there's the Iron Mondale, yeah. Where's the ST one? Yeah, it's got to see this one, for example. It hasn't got the little, um, like, grill underneath, so it's got to be sort of an ST, ST type. And that's why we're here, because Gary said, I'm sure he said if we saw one the other day. It's on there? I don't know what the condition is. Oh, right. They just pop out, don't they? Oh, look at all that water there, look. You can just push it out from there, can't you? I just, well, I was going to look what it looks like. Oh, it's got a reflector in that one. Oh, would it? Well, if it's got a reflector in that one, um, well, you have to I'll have to pair. Well, we, look at the other ones, well let's, yeah, we'll have a look just in case. But we've got that one there just in case, folks. There's a few more over here. I think it's got to be F3, I think. Yeah, probably. Let's have a little look around. Yeah. yeah, so it's probably got to be the ST petrol version, the 220, which you're going to struggle to find in here, aren't you? Yeah, I think that's the only ST in there. Yeah, he did have a look the other day, folks. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, let's have a look at them first, anyway. They won't be. They're easy enough to pop out. That's a titanium over there. That's no good, is it? No. Pop that one out first. They look all right. Any yeah. They just push them little bits down there. Exhaust. Yeah, it's not a Miltech though, is it? <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? It's a bit early for me. They should just push through pretty easily. Well, if these are cheap enough, I'll take the two anyway. Uh, don't you damage it. As you can see, folks, on this one, you've got the um, parking sensor cable there. Well, if I take this out of the way, look, I can pull this right out, can't I? You can get it out easier then, can't you? No, it's stuck to the under tray. Oh, is it? Oh, right. So that's what my one hasn't got, the parking sensor cable, as you can see there, look. Someone's had the sensors out of this one already, as you can see, look. This bumper's a bit rusty and all on this one, folks, look. Common thing by the looks of it. Oh, right. Hey? The reflector's got pins on it, look. Oh, yeah, look. So that means if you want them, you're going to have to drill them holes in. In your bumper. Yeah, no, I don't like the idea of doing it. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, can you see that, folks? There's extra pin holes in them ones. <sighs> no, I don't, I don't think we'll take them. I don't think we'll take them. It makes it look different, doesn't it? I want to keep it looking as it was, sort of standard sort of thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to abort mission on that one, folks. So, as you can see in here, look. It's been ransacked. It's got a pretty nice interior in it. No real damage. That airbag's gone over there, as you can see, look, on the dashboard. Yeah, we'll have to lose that one then. Never mind. Have a little look around. They're pretty well spread out, I think. So 
have a look. This one here, see, look. This is probably a titanium or something, is it? Yeah, different, you see, look. Oh, just a ZTEC one, that one, look. Let's have a look over here. No, these ain't Mondeos. They're focuses. I think you'll find. That's a Mondeo there, isn't it? TDCI, no, that's not going to be much cop. Nah. See, that's uh, something you don't really notice. Is that one there? No. That's, uh, these are focuses back here. I think we're going to be out of luck. Oh well, it's worth a try anyway. This is only sort of five minutes down the road from us. No? Uh, oh well, never mind. I'll probably get one off of eBay. I can put that old one back on for now anyway. Shouldn't be a lot of money that, folks. So um, we'll just go around and have a look at the little motorbikes. I like to look at the motorbikes when I'm here as well. So uh, we'll have a look at a little look over there. Yeah, airbag's gone off on that one, look, on the steering wheel. Any of you ain't seen the steering wheel airbag go off on a Mondeo? That's what they look like. And the dev one over there as well has gone off, so... It's been in quite a bash, that one. What's that one over there, that... What? what? That grey. That's all we've just been on. Oh, of course it was. Old Cabriolet Escort. Look at that, look, that's well gone. <laughs> There we go, look at that. Shame, isn't it? Old cars. I say old cars, these are the cars I grew up with when I was a teenager. Back in the 80s, in the 20, 1980s, yeah. I used to love walking around scrapyards. I said, I remember in the early 80s in um, somewhere, I think it was near Wimbledon or something, where we used to live in London. There was a scrapyard near there, or Merton, I can't remember exactly where it was now. And uh, that's when they was piled up. I think that none of them piled up here. But they used to be piled up and used to climb on the top of them. What are you looking at? Police car? How do you know that? Oh, that's an old police car, folks. Look at that. Look. No, it's an ambulance, isn't it? What's that on the bonnet? No, it's a Oh, right. This is an old police car. Look. Wow. Look at that, look, it's all been pulled apart, look. Oh yeah, that would have said police on there, look. Where? Oh yeah, look at that, look. Something's been smashed on that windscreen there, isn't it? It would have been a well-maintained engine though, wouldn't it, being the police? Yeah. Look at that, folks. Something's been dropped on that, isn't it? Wow. Old Rolls Royce over there, look, right over there. Yeah, look, the old Sierra there, folks, look. That's well right out, look at that. All around there, look. <laughs> I never liked them when they first came out, the old Sierras. Took the place of the old Ford Cortina. I knew she loved the old Ford Cortinas. I've had a few of them. Mark 4s and Mark 5s. I had one of them. In fact, I had one in that colour. 22 years ago. Diesel one, my one was. I think it's a 1.9 diesel, was it? Or 1.5? I can't remember. 1.8. Hey? 1.8 then. Was it? I can't even remember what mine was. Yeah, I love walking around scrapyards. Just having a look. N, what's that? Um, 95, isn't it? About 95 here. Yeah. Four door though. Little Fiesta. Kit on it. Yeah, the spoiler kit. No, you don't. Yeah. A lot of newer ones here and all. Just around the corner here, folks, we've got the uh, their little bikes, their bike collection. We'll have a quick look in there. Yeah, they used to have a lot more than this all along here. Used to be all lined up. Yeah, look at that, look. Little, little exhaust on that one there. Look, that could be any for someone. You've got a scooter. So you can pick this sort of stuff up. 
you probably wouldn't pay a lot of money for that either. Come on, Dow really likes it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look. That's off the uh, facelift model, isn't it? Then ones. Oh yeah, look, Mondeo Mark III written on it as well. Look, again, they can be quite, quite dear. If you've got a project bike and stuff, you're making up a project bike. You can pick up things like speedos and and all that. Look, what we got over there? Any bumpers over there from Mondeo? You see? Just have a little look here, folks. Can't see none there. No. This whole thing. Look. Yeah. What is it? Let's have a look. Persia, is it Persia? Persia. Yeah, it's a Persia. Look at that, folks. Type 203C, whatever that is. That's come from abroad by the looks of it, isn't it? Look, it's suicide doors on it. Look, opening that way. And you know what that is. If you do, put it in the comment section below. Some really flash alloys there. Look, look the size of them things. Look. Bloody enormous. Something a little bit different for you. Um, in this occasion, we've uh, failed on our quest. So uh, let's go back. We'll put them original trims back in. Clean up the back of the car before I put the bumper on and then put the bumper on. So I'll see you in a minute. Here we are folks, outside, just going to fit it, I haven't got that end grill because I've ordered another one, so um, I'm not going to put that on yet, that can be pushed in afterwards, let's have a little quick look at it, right, okay, that's where the dent was there, and the colour blend, we've got a couple of, as I said, a couple of little um, bits of dust in it, but we're not worried about them at all, because they can be literally just buffed out, and I think you'll agree there, that uh, the colour blend, it's pretty damn good. There we go. That's where it was literally pushed in, all on that corner there. Woof. He pushed it out, sanded it down, and uh, that was it. So yeah, that's the performance blue colour. Let me stand back. Forget about that little grill there, folks, for the moment, as I say, because uh, I have sourced another one to go in there, and as you can see, they look so much better painted black. And all the way around, we lacquered the whole bump. It's a bit dirty at the moment, obviously, but. Uh, that's what it's going to look like with that black grill in that side and uh, I'm well pleased with that so yeah there we go that's it that's the repair job done folks so I don't actually you can't see the color blend at all on there I'm looking for it but I can't see it and that's the beauty of dusting it out as I say so uh, but as I said these little nibs here there's a little bit of dust there as you can probably see there can you see it? Yep, just there. That will sand out of a bit of 1500 and then buff that with G3 in the polishing disc and uh, that will totally disappear. I don't think the whole bumper needs sanding at all. So it's just literally three or four little dust nibs in it and that will solve the problem. So I have cleaned the um, pipes there folks at the end and also all around the back of the car just to make sure that it's a bit more tidy under there so I know that it's done. So this should take for between five to 10 minutes to get this um, bolted back on. And I'll put you on a bit of time lapse for that and some nice music. So I'll see you in a minute. There you go folks, job done. I think you'll agree, it's a pretty nice job Jimmy's done there. And the colour match is nigh on perfect. So it needs a bit of a dust down obviously, but um, that's where the colour blend is around there if you can remember. We've got that end panel to put on as I said here, but uh, all in all, I think you'll agree, 
the colour match and the repair turned out very nice. Oh look who's just turned up look. Oh yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, I dropped something off. Drop something off? What you got? Eh? What are you... On the highways. Oh my god, look at him look. Security, mate. Yeah. So what are you coming around here for again? Just off the low something. Oh my god, he's got more. Look at that. Get it open. This has been loved and cared for, look at it. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Hey, uh, 41? Yeah. What's the matter with it? I can't remember. I just think he said it wouldn't start. It's a bit tatty. Yeah, it's alright. Did it start or what? No, he said it wouldn't. I haven't tried it. He kept it like this outside. That's why it's bubble wrap. Oh, Alright. Oh well, we'll just ain't a lawnmower video. If you want to see that something happen with this folks, go over to the Project Man channel. We're more interested in this. Oh um, yeah. And that's it, all finished. Just a little bit of a cutting back as and when. Put the trim on, happy days. So there you go folks, hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll leave it there for this one. I probably won't bring to you putting on that bottom grill, maybe touch it, I'm not sure, we'll see how we go. I doubt if I'll bring that to you, it's only a little five minute job. But if you are interested in any of these videos, do check out my playlist. I've got car repair videos, motorcycle repair videos, repairing and restoring lawnmowers and other bits of equipment. There might be something there that tickles your fancy. Anyway, thanks very much, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.